Hi everyone, and welcome back to LIT's Home Workout with me, Dave Reedy, and in partnership with all our local media. The first week is coming to an end now, so we're on our third, third uh, workout of the week. Um, it's going to be a small bit different this week. We're going to do a, a lower body strength workout with a bit of core work. Um, the last two exercises, or last two workouts earlier in the week, they were all on the clock. So this is a mixture between doing a number of reps and doing and being on the clock. Um, I won't keep you any longer. We go straight into our, our warm up, and then we get straight going into our exercises. So just for the warm up, on our toes. Again, it's a lower body. Uh, Strength workout, so we just we, we warm up the, the lower body and a few kickouts. We do a few plyometric movements and a few stretches. So a few squats, down we go. And again, by this stage now, we know we're trying to keep our back straight, and then our knees are going outwards if anything. They're not coming in, so they're not coming in out if anything. And down we go. Just get this warm, get the glutes, the hamstrings, quads firing. Okay, take a walk and lunge, again, back up, walk and lunge. Again, we, we want to keep our right our knee out and nice and steady. We don't want this over the, the front toe, keep it in, in a 90 degree angle. And again, don't be shaking it, try and keep it as steady as possible. And just walk it out. And down. And our back knee, we don't want it touching the floor, just a couple of, couple of centimeters or inches off the ground. And we get going straight away then. Let's go to a few more jumps now. Again, if that's too severe for me, just do just do normal squat jumps or squats. And down. Um, okay, onto the onto our mat. Do a few stretches. On your left on your left knee, out try and touch your right toe, keep that leg straight. Should be feeling in your hamstring here. And put it straight and lean forward. Again, two stretches here. Should be feeling on your on your quad up to your hip flexor of your knee that's on the ground and a bit of on your hamstring and the knee that's that's on the mat. And we'll switch. Same thing, try and touch. Again, if you need if you need a bit of balance at the start, no problem. So as I was saying, we'll be I think we have 10 exercises to be doing in one circuit. We'll be doing three different circuits, up you get. And, and, and pull up the leg. Again, if you need balance, just hold against the wall. No equipment needed. Um, we we'll use it, all body weight exercises. There's one, one exercise in the workout that we might need to stand on the couch or grab a chair from the kitchen. Um, have a, I have a chair brought in. It's just that we'll be standing up on it for one of our exercises. But again, if the couch is suitable, stand up on the couch. If not, run and get your chair. Again, just one more stretch. A few jumping jacks, just stay off the mat, just in case. It slips. And a few more lunges. Do a few more squats, one more exercise on the mat, and we get straight into our workout. So a few squats, down and up, down and up. Down and up. Again, try and look as low as you can. Back doesn't be coming out. Try and keep that back straight. That's good. Okay, on our mat, on all fours. Knees and hands. And just keep that back leg up, one at a time. So up you go. You can keep it straight. Up you go. So, if you've been following the last two days of workouts, your body might be a bit stiff. A bit sore, but that's okay, that's normal. Switch legs. As I said, that's normal. And it just shows that you're using muscles that you probably haven't used in a while. Um, and, and, and again, it's normal, it's just a matter of stretching to, to try and get rid of them DOMS. DOMS for anyone who doesn't know, it's delayed onset muscle soreness. And when you don't use muscles in a while and then you go straight into exercise, it's just the muscle telling you, I've never done these type of things before, but it's okay, it's nothing to worry about. Um, I suppose, I think off the jumper from the start to that. I will be going straight into exercises. So I just get this timer going here. And our first exercise is the squat. 
Again, we don't need the mat. So we're going down and just holding it there. Try and keep this is 90 degrees. We're holding that for 30 seconds and we'll be moving on to the next exercise. So I'm going to be talking our way through each exercise as normal. Um, so just keep looking at the screen, screen and keep following the instructions. So we're going, let's go for 30 seconds. Now, if this gets too difficult after 15, 20 seconds, just stand up and get back into it then. Just so release your, your hip flexors here. Keep that back nice and straight. Again, our knees not coming in, keeping them going out of anything. That's good going, keep holding that. You're nearly there now. 10 more seconds. Don't let go. Again, it's hard work. Three, two, one, and up. Straight into the next exercise, just squats. One, we're doing 15 of them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One more now, don't give up, excellent. 15, again we have 10 seconds, 15 seconds of a break. Timer doesn't really matter too much. We're doing supermans, this is for our core. So we're on our mat, on our knees and our hands. Hands are under the shoulders. At the same time, our right hand is coming out and our left leg reaching out and back in onto the mat. And then opposite, left hand, right leg. That makes sense, let's keep going. So we're doing seven of these each. Nice, slow pace. It doesn't have to be fast. Seven each side, that, that is. That's two and two. Again, try and keep that bum nice and steady. We're not trying to shake that bum. It's not supposed to be shaking like that. Keeping it steady. And back in. Hands are under the shoulders. You're trying to make that belly nice and tight. So suck that belly bun up into your stomach and squeeze that core. That's good going. Nearly there. And one more. And back you go. So next exercise, again, is our, gl our glute bridges. So we're lying flat on the ground. You have two options. You can have your legs and about this, about this, up this height. You're lying back. Head on the ground. And what we want is getting our hips up into the air. So the beginner version is two legs on the ground. And we're going up and slow down. So fast up and slow down. Fast up and slow down. We're doing uh, 16 of them. If you're doing the more advanced, we're on one leg and one leg straight out. And up and down, eight each side. So we get going with this. I'm going to do with one leg. In each side, if you're doing two legs, follow my tempo and uh, you're doing 16 of them. So let's get going. One and down. Fast up, slow down. Three and slow down. Four and slow down. Five, six, seven. And one more if you're doing one leg. Switch legs. If you're doing two legs, keep going. Fast up, slow down. Fast up, slow down. Three, up, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's good going. That should be 16 if you're doing two legs. And eight if you're doing, if you're doing one, uh, eight each side if you're doing one leg. Next up, lunges. So down we go into our lunge. Try and keep that balance. And down we go, and just holding that there. We're holding that there for 30 seconds. Then we'll be switching sides. So we have two, we have a minute of work to do, 30 seconds each side. Again, listen to me. Back nice and straight. As you can see, nice and straight. Knee doesn't want to go over that, that toe, and it doesn't need to be shaken. We're trying to keep that as steady as possible. Back is nice and straight. So we're going down in three seconds. Let's go. For 30 seconds, it doesn't matter what leg is out in front, just hold that. Our back leg is just five or six centimeters off the ground. And keep that back nice and straight. Chest looking forward. 
that's good going. You should be feeling it. Now, especially this, this, this quad here that's behind you, keep holding that. You have 10 seconds left. If it gets too difficult, come up out of it and go back into it straight away. Four, three, two, one, up. And switch legs, you're going opposite leg. Again, 30 seconds. Go on straight away. You should be feeling that back quad. Keep this front knee nice and steady as we were. We'll have 10 second break. And um, after this exercise, we're going straight into normal lunges. So again, keep that hand off the, the, the front leg. Hold that again for another 10 seconds. It's getting tough now, don't let go. Try and push yourself. And up you come. That's good going. We're going straight into 15 lunges each side. So let's go. One, and back up. One, and back up. Same principle applies. Just keep following my tempo. Again, you'll, at the end of the workout, your quads will be sore, but again, it's normal. You haven't worked these, these muscles probably in a while, so that, that's okay. Again, if this gets too difficult, just lower the reps to, instead of 15, try and get to 14. Again, if too difficult, 30, but keep pushing yourself. Again, it's, everyone's going to be sore, it's just, it's just keep pushing yourself. Let's go going. And back up. I've actually lost count, so we we'll just keep do two and two more on each side. Too much talking. Now enough working. And one more. That's good going to take a small bit of a break. And we're going into our side plank. So again, take a break. We're on our mat. There's two options here. So we're going on our side. We're working for 30 seconds. Your elbow is on the ground with your forearm underneath your shoulder. You'll be on your feet. This is the more advanced version and hips up. We don't want to be lagging these hips on the ground. Try and keep up a nice, a nice straight line. If that's too difficult, you're on your knees. Your bottom knee is bent and your, your top leg is straight out. And between your knee and your leg, you're holding yourself up. Again, for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we'll be switching sides. So if you're on your right shoulder or right elbow, you'll be going to your left elbow on the, on the, the switch. So we'll be going in three, two, one, go. I know the one defeat. You can put your hand up over your head as well if you want. Try and touch the ceiling, or you can have it on your hip. And you're holding that. Again, you're, you're keeping that core nice and tight. You can feel it on your right side of your body. Uh, keep your hips up, and that's good going. 20 seconds up. Keep holding that for 10 more seconds. That's good. Three, two, one, and you can let go and move on to your other side. Again, straight away you're going up. Let's see, can I see the timer? That's good going. If that's too difficult, go onto your knee as I said, leg bent, and try and keep that hip up. But I'll be on my, on my feet. So again, you feel this in your left side of your, of your, of your belly, your stomach. Keep them hips up. You can touch the air or the, touch the ceiling with your right hand. That's good going. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. That's good going. Excellent. And you can drop it. Our next exercise, we'll be using that chair as I said. So again, chair or couch. We'll be doing a uh, 10 inch side. So you're stepping up with your left foot and up and back down. Onto your right foot, up and back down. So we get going, just let's go up. So one left foot up, left foot down. Right foot up and right foot down, that's two. Every second go. Whatever leg that, that's standing on the chair, the same leg comes down first. So if you put your right foot up first, your right foot comes down first. Left foot goes up first, left foot comes down first. That's good pace, keep that going. Left foot and left foot down. That's exiting your nearly there now. And we'll be on a break after this. Down. Down. 
and up and down. And if you need it, if you already have a couch, same thing. It's just be careful your knees is probably not as steady and you can take a break. That's good work. So that is, looks to me, just 10 minutes work there. We'll be doing another set of that. You'll be having a full minute off and we'll be going into that one more time. So take your, take a drink, take your full minute off and we'll be going into that. Again, in the morning, probably not so much this evening, but in the morning, your quads will feel sore, hamstrings maybe, even up into your glutes. It's, it's normal, it's called abdominals, as I said. Um, it's normal, it's just because we haven't worked these muscles this, in this particular way before. It's just telling you, I, your muscles telling you I'm doing something new. Um, I, I'm okay, but I'm just a small bit stiff after. We're going again in 25 seconds. Okay, I'll move this chair out of the way again. Again, we're going in 10 seconds with the squat and hold first. Again, five seconds, we'll be going squat and hold. So off the mat, and we're going, down we go. Hold this for a minute so, or 30 seconds. Again, we want this 90 degrees, our knees not too far over our, our toes, trying back straight, chest that would looking straight in front of you. That's good, going halfway there. Keep pushing out now, it is going to be painful, but just keep pushing that on. Well done, five seconds left. That's good going. And two, one, up you get. Straight into the squat saw. We're doing 15 of them, down and up. Down and up. Three, four, five. Again, be conscious of your knees. They're going outwards, if anything. They're not coming in. So six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep pushing that on for another five. Come with me. Make sure we're getting the, the 15 of them. That's good going. So we're going into our supermans. Take 10, 15 seconds off. Again, I'll just show you what you're doing. And you'll be going straight into them. So right hand, left leg, out stretch. And back you go under you. So your knees are under your hips, your hands are under your shoulders, and opposite. That's one each. So let's go now in five, four, three, let's go. One, 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 two, again seven or eight each side, two. Try and keep that core, that bum nice and straight, not as much rock, rocking in it. We want to keep it straight. Let's go going. And keep pushing yourself. It is going to be sore, but we just have to push through it. Just ask yourself, what pain is it? Is it a sharp shooting pain, which is not good? But if it's just muscle soreness in general, it's okay. One more each side saw, and last one. Well done. Again, 10, 15 seconds off. You're lying on your back. I go this side, this way, this time. Again, lying on your back. If you're doing two feet, you're nice and fast up and slow down. We're, we're trying to get 16 of them again. If you're doing one foot, eight and eight. So up and slow down. You're feeling the backs of your legs here. So we get going. If you're doing two feet, let's go. One, one, two, three, four. So nice and fast up and slow down. Seven. Eight, and switch legs. If you're on two legs, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hope you get. That's good going. We're going to our lunges. Again, just look at that timer. We're still okay for time. We're on 15 minutes. Go and work out. So again, lunge hold, let's go straight away. Left foot forward, we're holding that for 30 seconds. That's good going. Again, it's going to be sore, but we just push through that. 
you feel it in your right right quad, knee not, no movement in your knee, your back nice and straight, looking ahead of you. Keep holding that, every five seconds to go, I'm gonna be up. Three, two, one, and up you get. All your legs straight away, again for 30 seconds. Straight after this 30 seconds, we're going to our walking lunges as we did last time. Again, straight away, it's a lot sore this time. We have one or two sets nearly done. Just look at the time, we're, we're 10 more seconds to hold that. Again, our chest up, looking straight ahead of us, back nice and straight. No movement in your front knee, five seconds, three, two, one, up you get. Again, straight into them walking lunges. Your, your quads here, you're definitely going to be feeling them now, but keep pushing it out. Four. Again, 16 of these. Eight each side. You'll be glad to know. Well done. One more each side. That's good going. And eight. Well done. Take 10 15 seconds off. Going into our side, side planks again for 30 seconds. So we're going in eight seconds. Again, two options. Elbow down underneath your shoulder. The beginner option is on your knee and keep them hips up. Let's get going. If we do another option, two feet up in, on top of each other, no knee on the ground, hip up into the air. You can touch the ceiling if you want. Okay. Again, keeping them hips up into the air, you feel, you feel it here on the right hand side of your core. That's good going, 20 seconds gone. 10 more seconds left. Again, sweat will be coming out of you. You'll be sore and that's it. Switch sides straight away and we get going. Let's go. 30 seconds again. Again, try and start off on the more advanced. If it gets too difficult halfway through it, just slide onto your knee. But try and hold, hold uh, on your legs as long as possible. Let's go going, 10 seconds left. Nearly there now. Second last exercise, five seconds left. Going on to our step ups next. Hold it, hold it, and stop. Let's go going. So get that chair. Hopefully that Again, right leg, eight each side, left leg, eight, eight, eight again. So again, straight into this. Right leg and up, right leg and down. Left leg and up, left leg and down. That's two, right, every second side. Just try and keep that balance when you're getting up there. That's good going. Well done. You're nearly finished this set. Just try and keep following the pace. Well done. Nearly there now. We're going to want one more set then. Okay, one more each side. Right leg, right leg. Left leg, left leg. Well done. Take a minute break. I'll move this chair out of the way again. Again, look at the timer. One minute break. Take a drink of water. And we're going to our final set then. That's excellent work. Again, quads going to be really sore tomorrow. Probably the small bits even, but mostly tomorrow. That's when you feel the dominance coming along. Glutes, again, hamstrings, working all our lower body. We have 25 seconds left. Take your drink of water. And we get ready to go again. 15 seconds left. Put that timer again down. We're going in 10. Three, two, one, go. Squat and hold. Again, try and get a right angle here. Chest up, try and keep your back as straight as possible. Legs are coming out. You're holding for 30 seconds. You're halfway there. 
If that gets too far up you come, out you go. Up you come, out you go, but try and hold it as long as possible. That's good going. Five, four, three, two, one, and up we get. Straight into our squats. 15 of them, two, three. Really feel the pain here. Don't use your hands to push up after your legs. Feet out, five, six, or hands out, should I say. Seven, eight, nine, 10, five more to go. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Next to work, take 10 seconds off. Going into our Supermans. Again, we know at this stage now, hands over the, underneath the shoulders, uh, knees underneath the hips, and let's get going. One, right hand, left leg, left hand, right leg. Again, nice full stretch outwards and back in underneath you. Keep that core, that bone, don't let it be shaken. Try and keep it as steady as possible. That's good work. Six, six, two more so. Seven, seven, and eight, and your last one, eight. That's good work into our glute bridge. Again, 16 of them if you're doing two legs, eight on each side for doing one leg. We're going straight into it, so nice and fast up and slow down. So let's get going. One, sorry, two on the same leg, three, four, five. If you're doing two legs, keep going. Again, you're, you're really feeling your hamstrings, Seven and eight and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent work. Again, these hamstrings are going to be really burning. When I say burning, there's going to be a sensation there that they want to close down and stop working, but they just keep pushing through it. So our next one is our lunge jumps, our lunge holds. Again, we're holding it for 30 seconds. I'll give you another 10 seconds off before we get into it. Again, you know, as you, you know now at this stage, knee not shaking, not over the toes, your, your back straight. So let's get going. Left leg out, right leg below you, just off the ground. Don't be leaning on your, don't be leaning on your front leg. Just keep holding that. Again, if it, gets too, if it gets too sore, can't hold it anymore, up you get and back down into it. Hold, keep holding it. 10 seconds left. Don't let go. Well done. Four, three, two, one. And switch legs straight away. Just get, again, 50, or 30 seconds again. Well done, this is good work. Again, all lower body, a small bit of core in it. Um, Straight after this exercise, we're going into our walking lunges like we did before, really feeling it here now. That's good work. See, can you hold on for the next eight seconds? Keep breathing, keep looking forward. Three, two, one, and up you get. Again, even your bone here behind you be sore. So let's see, can we get eight on each side? One, try and keep that balance. One, two, Two, don't give up, don't give up on me. Three, if you have to take that pace a small bit slower, do, but don't keep working as long as I'm working. Four, five, five, six, six. Can we get two more each side? Again, really sore your quads will be now. And one more each side, eight, and eight. Well done, take a bit of a break. We're going into our side planks. That's excellent work. So down we go, we're holding for 30 seconds each. Again, beginner or, or more advanced. Try and start off in the more advanced. Get, if it gets too difficult, go into the beginner with your knee on the ground. So we're going in three, two, one. Up we get, hips up. Try and touch the ceiling with your hips. Eight, 
Then that's excellent work. You have two more exercises to go. So let's keep pushing it out. And just for these last two exercises, we have seven seconds left. Nearly there. Breathing's getting a lot heavier now. And two, one, and we're switching sides. Same thing, straight up now we get 30 seconds. Same thing, try and start off with this. If it gets too difficult, drop that hand onto the ground and balance yourself with your knee. Touch the ceiling with your, your hips or your hand. That's excellent work. Well done, and you're holding for five more seconds. A long five seconds, so we've got four, three, two, and a very long last one, and off you get. Last exercise, so get that chair again. Sweat's really coming out now. Bring that chair over. Eight each side on each leg. We go straight into it. Get the exercise done out of the way, the whole workout. Let's go. One, right leg up, right leg down. Left leg up, left leg down. That's two. Doing eight, or eight each side, 16 in total. Five. That's excellent. You're nearly there, you start, can you push in for the last 30 seconds nearly? So close to finishing it. Just be careful that balance. You're nearly there. And last one, on each side, left leg, well done. That's excellent work. Just pause that timer, get the bottle of water, take a break. So again, including, take a drink. So again, including our minute rests, our minute 20 second rests, after each cycle, it's 27 minutes and 27 seconds of a workout. Again, we were taking breaks between each exercise well, so you can even cut that down even more. Again, tomorrow, late tonight and tomorrow, you'll feel pain in your legs. It's okay, it's only dons. It's just because we haven't worked these muscles in a while, it's just telling us, ouch, I'm a small bit sore, but it's okay. A few stretches um, will take away that pain over a period of time as well. Um, so do a few stretches tomorrow, Saturday, um, Sunday probably a few more and you should be good to go again on Monday. Again, you can check out all our videos on our LIT social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube and also check out our local uh, uh, media partners uh, social media for all our content as well. So we're finished week one. As I said after uploading our first videos, uh, send in your pictures, your videos to any of the so LIT social media channels to be in a chance of winning all, loads of merchandise, uh, sports hoodies, sports gears, um, quarter zip tops, everything's there to be, to, to be, to be given to you, just send, it, send in the material. Excellent work again and I'll see you all again on Monday.